Chef Ricky and not watching Prime Media. So yeah, this your boy DC in here, you know what I'm saying? I had to check out my boy Chef Rick. What's up, man? What's going on, man? Yeah, man. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been a minute, man. I ain't seen you since, uh, you know, the neighborhood. But so, you know what I'm saying? Just to get it started, how did you um, start off cooking? You know what I'm saying? You just always love to do it? Always, always been cooking since I was four or five years old, you know? Back in them days, I used to cook for the girls and stuff, you know? <laughs> Stay right across the street from me. Never <laughs> tell me about no plate, nothing. That's all good, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, back in the day, what was your favorite dish to uh, whip up? Shit, eat fried chicken and macaroni. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> mm, can't go wrong with that. Not man. at all. So, I see you got the uh, you got the restaurant popping and stuff. How'd you uh, score this good? Actually, just, it just fell into my lap, man. One day it was working. I had my mom's kitchen with my business partner. He hit me up. We got this location I'm gonna look at. Um, it's working this building. And we went and checked it out. I gave us a run around or whatever. You know, we're a, a, new, a new company, a fucking company. So they didn't want us to come in here and fuck it up. But, um, the guy that owned the building gave us a chance. He's like, go ahead. And that's how it happened. Okay. So, what's your favorite dish? Favorite dish? Um, I'm gonna go with the company. The company name is Marvel Fit Foods. Well, Marvel LLC, which we have uh, three other companies up under that as umbrellas, and we have Marvel Fit Foods, um, we have Marvel Cafe, and now we're opening up another location, so we're Marvel Cafe and Juice Park. Okay, okay. Quick tidbit for y'all youngsters never get paid personally, always do an LLC. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, tell me about the Fit Food. People trying to get healthy, they try to get they gluten free, all this stuff like that. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? How'd you uh I started at that when I was at this last company I worked at called um, Park Salas over in Detroit. They have a big once level marketing company and they focus on healthy supplements, vitamins, protein shakes, cookies, protein cereal, stuff like that make you eat better. And I was spending a lot of money on like Conan Grill, Jay Alexander's area to work right down the street. And I realized, you know what, everybody needs help me, so I started making healthy food for my team, and they liked it, and I came with the idea of how about I do like this healthy food company, and that's when I started working. Okay, so um, you went to school to learn how to, uh, you know what I'm saying, make it more healthy, or you just, you know, got with somebody and learned about you know, I went to school, I went to culinary school, and graduated in you know, 2010, but they, they taught you some stuff, they taught you everything, you learn, basically learn as you go. So um, I just started research online, basically what's healthy, what's not healthy. And then I um, ran across this system where you punch in, you know, with the recipes and stuff, and it tells you the calories, the protein, the carbs, you know, what's good for you, what's not good for you. And I start punching in recipes that I do out of my head, and so I can make this healthy by cutting that out, but less rice, you know, less salt, and every be better for me. So, and that's how we started. So I got an ask. How long did it take you to make it taste good while still being healthy? Six months to a year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while. What's your um? What would be your best dish? On the healthy side, yeah. um, so many of them. My best or my favorite? Uh, let's go with your favorite. First. My favorite, uh, real fun stuff. Terry Daffy Jr. <laughs> so, um, as far as the healthy food goes, do you, um, you do just like vegetarian stuff or you can uh, make full vegan? Um, I got everything. Uh, I got some, I got a couple vegan dishes. I got, um, gluten free dishes. I got, um, high protein dishes, low carb dishes, however, whatever you want. Like, my company, we customize it to whatever you want. Some of these milk carb companies are going to eat what they make, because that's how they do it. Oh, this is also what it's so we're gonna buy all the chicken and sell chicken this week. We got a full customized review. If you want chicken or broccoli, we want chicken or broccoli. If you want extra asparagus, you get extra asparagus, but it all costs you. So, um, what's your favorite dish? Um, I'm gonna go with the 
as far as this location, what all do you sell here? Here, we, this is like a deli type on the island, fast, casual restaurant, so we have everything from bacon, bacon cheeseburgers, tossed wings, uh, boneless wings, garlic parmesan fries, corned beef sandwiches, we do breakfast, French toast, pancakes, waffles, um, omelets, we make the best omelets, hands down, best omelets in the city. <laughs> and best corn beef in the city. Okay. On my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what you think would be the best dish here? Um, in the restaurant? Yeah. Or, you know, not just the best, but what's the, like, the top three things people, when they come through, they always gotta get that. I think it's the tacos. <laughs> Thursdays are on the trader. It's um, corned beef, oven roasted turkey, coleslaw, Thousand Island, sweet cheese, um, grilled, I have one grilled Texas toast, onion roll, or uh, rock. That's, my, that's the best sandwich. And then we have um, a Southwest steak wrap, like our grilled plain steak, um, tomato basil wrap, lettuce, tomato, Southwest dressing. Um, and then Taco Tuesday. All of our tacos, our nachos, we shut it down. <laughs> So taking it back, when did you realize you didn't, it wasn't simply just a love for cooking, but you feel like you can monetize this? This was probably like a couple years ago when I was on uh, my last company because I was sitting there. I was making a lot of money there, you know, working corporate. I was young, I started, I started working out like 21, they were sending me all over the world, and I had a lot of time because I made money because I had a lot of extra time on my hands. So what I did was, I started coming up with ideas, researching other companies that's kind of doing what I'm doing out in California and Florida, and they're making millions, you know. They started, what, three or four years ago before me. So I started doing their research, watching them, see how they work, and I started, you know, networking, like talking to people that I manage from my other company, and they're like, yeah, hey, this going to be big, this going to be big. And um, I put it out there, I did like a little pre launch and put it up on Instagram, put a pre launch on Instagram, go click on the link, put your email in. And I got, like, the first week, I got, like, over a thousand hits of people sending their emails to me, sending their interest. So that's when I knew, like, I can make some money. Okay, okay. So, early days, man, how tough was it um, dealing with that uh, high demand? In the early days? When I first started, it was, like, smooth. I, I was, it was, like, you know, a lot of people try, like, the first month, they want, everybody going to try it out. Friends, family, they're going to pay that first month to try it out. And then I get leveled up for a couple months, and then as we start getting big, bigger exposure, I start doing events. I partnered up with um, one of the top gyms in Michigan, Elite Training. And they start putting me out there. We got sponsorships for pageant girls and you know, pro athletes, and that kind of blew me up. So I just I was doing it all myself. I, I don't like I don't ask for help. I hate asking for help. Surprise me, and I don't trust everybody. So I had to do it myself. So I was still asleep. My sleep was clicking away. <laughs> Yeah, because I remember you was telling me about you had quit your job from the mom's whole living room out to uh, cook. Yeah, I cleaned out the living room, the hospital tables. I had up to at night, 600 meals that one night. I started at 5 in the afternoon, I finished at like 7 in the morning. So you had one, you know, one little oven like this, and I had the dishes. I was stacking the pans on top of each other. I had a four burner stove, a couple gas grills outside. And it took me hours because I had so much food to make in different dishes. But I got it done, got it on the road, did deliveries. Damn, I fell asleep on my deliveries on myself. I got it done, but that, actually that same week, that's when my boy called me. So I got the keys, we moved into here. Okay, okay. So that, that, during that um, order, you was, it was just you? Just me by myself. I do all the things to do with myself. Okay. I can't have everybody, you know. See, I'm, some people, you tell them what to do, they won't. See ya. <laughs> Everybody you can't, you can't trust everybody to do what you, you know, that's like, it's my name, it's my name. Right. I can't trust somebody with my name, because I thought before, you know, I was doing, I was doing big numbers, and I brought some people in, and the numbers went down, so I could see, like, this is my, this is me, this is my baby, so I gotta treat like this is my baby till it's ready to go out on its own. So, man, what uh, take up most of your free time, you know, when you're not, you're not cooking here or something, you know what I'm saying? What you like to do? Man, tell you the truth, look, I'm not cooking here. I'm at home, online, researching other strategies, you know, better, something that I can do different.
to me to stand out and be different. You know, I don't like being like everybody else. I'm original. Um, I got a couple other businesses I'm working on. Um, I got this guy I went to Macomb with. Right now he has a team in India. We build apps, uh, websites. So right now he got two apps. Um, one of them is called Rides. It's um, right now it's like still in the pre phases, but it's just like Uber and Lyft. But we started out here in Detroit, and then we're gonna like franchise it around the world. Okay. And then we got another one, um, Incline Fitness. It's like Uber for fitness. So if you want to work out, open up the app, you click on the trainer you want, or what kind of workout you want to do today. That trainer comes to your house with the equipment, or um, they'll meet you at the local gym, where you don't have to pay a fee and work out. Okay. That's that's uh, definitely <laughs> something. Yeah, I'll have to look out for. Um, where can they uh, find you online, or you know, your social media, or website? Yeah, I got it all. Um, my website for my healthy food is marvelo.com. That's M-A-R-V as in Victor L-O.com. Then I have my Instagram for Marvelo. The healthy one is Marvelo underscore Fit underscore Foods. Um, we have a Facebook. You can just look up Marvelo Fit Foods. My personal Facebook, Ricky Hobbs. My personal Instagram is Rick underscore Hobbs. Yeah. Um, how did you uh, come up with the name Marvel? Marvelo. I started. I came up with Marvelo because it's my grandmother's and my mom's name together. So my grandma's name is Marva. My mom's name is Loretta. So I just they call my grandma Marv. So I put Marv and they call my mom Lo. So like Marvelo, which the name came from. Um, I was originally gonna do like a banquet hall, which now I got all this space or whatever. I was gonna do a banquet hall like, to do like weddings and parties and stuff and it was gonna be called Marvel. Mm -hmm. But the Fit Food Company came first, so that's the the base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the name do sound like a nice <laughs> little hall or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Alright man, shout out this location, you know what I'm saying? Tell them when they can come through, you know what I'm saying, the business hours, stuff like that. Alright, we at um, 31440 Northwestern Highway. That's Farmington Hills, Michigan. Um, we're inside of Wells Fargo and Trot Law Building. We're Monday through Friday, 8 to no, 7 to 2.30. Yeah. Make your hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. That's it, man. We out of here. You know what I'm saying? Mark Low Fit. DC, how was the food? That one was good than a mug, bro. We had every type of wing. Boneless and with the bones. We had pasta salad, regular salad, uh, every type of dessert you could think of. Literally. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> hey man, that job was good, man. I ain't got no complaints. What about you, bro? You had some too, fool. Oh, I'm to go shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I got some, I, I, I gotta get, <laughs> That's all you need to know. When you ask me how the food was, I'm saying, look, I'll tell you when I eat my to-go plate. <laughs> and that ain't my first one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm taking some with me, ain't I? <laughs>